For anybody really saying that they fit contact lenses and that they fit it well, they need to keep at the forefront of technology and to me that is corneal topography. So without having a corneal topographer I don't think we can fit contact lenses to the best of our ability. But by having one I think we can quite happily claim uh, that we specialise in contact lenses and we, able, we are able to fit the vast majority of contact lenses that some practitioners can't fit, for example ortho K or even keratoconic lenses are made much simpler by using a corneal topographer. I can't see how people can now fit lenses, especially specialty lenses, without a topographer. But not only that, I think every clinician uh, interested in monitoring one's eye health, their patient's eye health, should think about getting a topographer because it's very difficult to pick early cases of keratoconus or other corneal dystrophies unless you look really deeply but you pick these up routinely with a topographer. One of the great things about the topographer uh, is its versatility. I use it far more than I thought I would do and it's paid for itself remarkably quickly uh, both in reduced chair time and in greater customer satisfaction. A topographer is a computerised instrument that enables more efficient contact lens fitting by accurately mapping a cornea's topology to measure its refractive power. The Keratron range of topographers measure 90% of the corneal surface, analysing over 80,000 reference points and measuring more than 7,000, a substantial increase on the two axes measured by keratometers. The topographer is a relatively new instrument for us in our practice. We've had it about two years and before that we were relying on a keratometer which gave us a limited amount of information about the patient's cornea but now we're able to use much greater information so we, we find that it's much better when we're trying to fit contact lenses to know more about the patient's cornea. And it's also really useful for those patients where we were suspicious that they might have had keratoconus or another condition that we can now measure it and we can know rather than just assume. The Keratron Scout is a, is a good corneal topographer, it's an excellent corneal topographer. I actually have both the Keratron and the Keratron Scout but I do find the Scout easier to use because you can get closer to the eye and therefore it, you can use it on pretty much everybody. As most corneal topographers, only about 90% of people you'll be able to use it on. I opted for the um, Keratron Scout simply because uh, of its versatility. Very versatile piece of equipment, uh, easy to use, uh, easy to mount in the practice, doesn't take up much space, much valuable space. Uh, quite friendly with the patients. Uh, the, good th the other good thing about it is that um, it's got interchangeable cones. So for people with deep set eyes, you can change the cone and still get good topography. If you want less hassle, it's, it's no more expensive than any other uh, topographers. Um, it's never ever let us down, ever, which is another plus. Um, so I'd have no qualms about recommending it to you. The Keraton Scout is quick and easy to use, allowing you to capture images and email the data directly to number seven within only five minutes of seeing a patient. Lenses produced using topographical data have a first-time fitting success rate of over 75%, making the topographer a useful tool for fitting toric, bitoric and multifocal lenses, as well as ortho-K. A keraton topographer with expert backup and technical support from number seven is clearly going to differentiate your practice from its competitors. I've no idea how I managed it without it. Uh, to me, it's the best invention in contact lens practice since the slit lamp and I use it routinely, without a doubt, every time. You can get a much more accurate idea about the shape of the cornea, giving you a far more accurate contact lens fit, which in the long term does save chair time, which, as we all know, is our, is our cost. OrthoK without a topographer is an absolute nightmare for the patient and for the practitioner. It's very easy to use. The Keratron, particularly, is brilliant. It's interlinked. Um, with Lab 7 so it's the images are sent down directly and each time the patient comes in we can monitor if there's any change in the surface of the cornea so um, it's just a great instrument and I wouldn't be without it. Mm -hmm.